Tonight, an exclusive interview. We are hearing from the father of Kane Rogers, a young man killed by an Atlanta police officer back in 2016. Now, Rogers' father spoke with Joe Hinkey tonight after the Georgia Supreme Court upheld a murder indictment against the officer who killed his son. He was young. He had vision. He had dreams. We first talked with Derivis Thomas nearly six years ago, shortly after his son, Kane Rogers, was killed. Last year, former Atlanta police officer James Burns asked the Georgia Supreme Court to toss this 2018 indictment charging him with murder. Tuesday, the court issued this opinion against Burns and upheld the indictment. We talked with Thomas afterward. Overwhelmed with joy. It was emotional um, for me and my family because, you know, it's been... It's 2016. Well, responding to a suspicious person call in June of 2016 at an apartment complex off Monroe Drive, Burns had his car's lights and siren on. Rogers was shot and killed by Officer Burns as Rogers tried driving around him. APD's internal affairs ruled it was excessive force. The general presumption is that the laws apply at the time of the incident. Last August, Burns' attorney argued the Fulton County indictment should be thrown out because the district attorney applied a version of a law created after the shooting. Before the shooting, police officers could have an attorney present and make a statement without being questioned during grand jury hearings. After the shooting, the law was amended. Officers could no longer have an attorney present. If they made a statement, they could now be questioned. The Supreme Court today ruled the DA using the amended law does not warrant tossing the indictment. We didn't know how this could turn out. And, we, and at the same time, we knew how this could turn out. That, you know, it could go either way. Thomas says his family knew the state's highest court could end the case against Burns or help them clear perhaps the last hurdle before the case heads to trial, something they've waited nearly six years to reach as they search for closure. Some things don't, don't actually heal, but you would like as much closure as possible so that if it is possible to heal, you can start that process. I'm Joe Hankey, 11 Alive News.